Aquarius darlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for liking, for sharing this video so that this message gets out to other people so that I know that my work is being disseminated out to the masses. Anyway, I do appreciate your love, your support, and returning to watch another video of mine. Um, I do want to mention that I am available for personal readings and that if you want to sign up for a Capella membership, you get exclusive access to guided meditations, daily guidance videos, and a whole bunch of other awesome benefits. I'm offering a 14-day free trial for some of my memberships of the lower tier so that you can get a taste of what I offer that I do not put out on YouTube um, to help to better prepare you guys for what's coming down the pike because the collective is going to be going through some major, major, major changes. So it would uh, benefit you if you feel called to sign up for um, a membership. You can cancel at any time. You want to try it out for 40 days and it doesn't work out for you or whatever, that's fine. If you want to keep it, that's fine too. It's very easy to cancel. If you already have a membership and you feel like you want to get more out of it, as I am going to be doing live streams for members only very soon. I'm gonna make a bigger announcement about that later. So if you want to um, not have to be put on a list on my lives and be in a more uh, intimate environment and I can read, uh, I'll pull more cards with those readings as well it would uh, benefit you to sign up for one of the memberships that includes access to my members only live streams, okay? Check out the description box below or go to capellawellness.com for more information on my Capella memberships. You also get free access to my mobile app where you can access all of the exclusive content there and you can chat with me and other people and go check out whatever else is there, all right? I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful week, a wonderful month. With that being said, Let's get into your reading. Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are having a fantastic week so far. I send you many blessings and much, much love as I always do. All right, Aquarius. We're going to see what's going on with you right now, what obstacles you are facing, and what lessons you're learning from this situation to help you with your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. Uh, we're then going to get guidance from spirit on how to best navigate these energies, what your wellness message is, what the new moon in Leo is bringing you, and lastly, what guidance we have for love and relationships for you. Alrighty, what is going on with Aquarius? Spirit, gods, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian, Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. We have the Five of Swords and the Death card. All right. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For somebody else who's watching this, keep your unhealthy ego at the door and make sure you're honest with yourself and your situation. All right, guys. So I just heard it's time to put an end to self-sabotage. I heard that very clearly. That's for somebody here. Uh, remember, this is a collective reading, so not everything is going to fit, but there's it's supposed to be something here for you hold on i forgot my incense again to um for you to help you with your spiritual growth right okay so that's what i heard first and foremost about what came through it's time to put an end to the self-sabotage there's also something about some of you need to make some serious profound changes with regards to how you talk to yourself. Some of you actually belittle yourself. You berate yourself. You you regret things that you do. I'm hearing like somebody smacking their forehead. Oh, you're so stupid. Or why did you do that? Why did you not listen? Why did you not get this started? Why did you whatever, whatever, something like that. I don't know. It's coming in very strong, but it's kind of like this is doing you a huge disservice, Aquarius. If you're resonating with this, you got to stop beating yourself up for stuff that you've done, okay? We all make mistakes, but the five of swords, the, the 
the beauty in this five of swords is when we're dealing with stuff like that, it helps us to realize what we're doing to ourselves, let alone their lessons. All of those mistakes that we make are lessons. Five, the swords are about challenges and life's lessons and experiences. We do stupid shit, guys. I've done stupid shit, okay? And we, you cannot like talk negatively to yourself. This is a waste of your energy. And also, if you're dealing with people who continue to get in your face, who continue to cause altercations, fights, you know, they continue to try to get the last word. They're winning at all costs. They're like, you know, telling you all of these things that are abrasive, mentally abusive, ver verbally abusive, whatever, taking advantage of you. You're the doormat and you let people just walk all over you. You're worn out, right? It has to come to an end. I'm hearing it needs to stop, Aquarius. There's no need for this. You're really going to have to put a coffin in it with this death card energy. Did I say put a coffin in it? I meant put a nail in the coffin. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Put a nail in the coffin. Leave it shut and just end it. This is done. It's time for you to really make some make some profound changes in your life. You can't experience change in, in your life until you do the change on your own. And a lot has to do with internal changes, right? You got to be the change you wish to see. So this type of behavior that seems repetitive for some of you, it's got to come to an end. It is definitely not serving you, whether you're doing this to yourself or you're doing this with other people, or maybe you continue to engage in this type of behavior and then something happens and you're like, I'm so dumb. Why do I keep doing that? Major Arcana here, Aquarius. Stop. It's over with. It's done with. Some of you need to take the high road. If you keep getting into these arguments with people and somebody's always trying to win the argument, it's like somebody does not like to lose. Oh, this might be triggering. Spirit's saying somebody here is incredibly stubborn. They like to win everything. They do not like to lose. Instead of learning when you lose something, there are huge lessons to learn from those experiences. Life is not about winning and losing. It's about how you play the game, right? You win some, you lose some. We're not here to have a competition and, and, and make marks and, and, and tally how many people have won things and how many people have lost things. This, this, is, this is not like football or something, guys. It's like win-loss column. Throw that out. The bigger gain here is what did you learn from this experience? Or do you keep repeating the same lessons? You keep repeat, engaging in the same type of poor behavior or poor experiences or dealing with the same poor situations, low vibrational situations. Did you learn anything from it? Did you change anything about the situation? Because the other side of the five of swords is embracing change, doing things differently. If you got to take the high road, Aquarius, take the high road. Some of you really need to sit down, look at it internally and say, what am I not learning or what I, what should I be learning from this situation or situations? about yourself, about other people, whatever this is. This is death to this five of swords, all right? Death to Aquarius so that the uh, new Aquarius can emerge. It's Phoenix rising from the ashes. You've got to really switch out those behaviors that you know are not for your highest good. This is also death to the ego, as I said, there's somebody or a few of you here who do not like to lose.
I will have to say tough shit because that's life. Again, drop the unhealthy ego and do something about it. All right? There are huge gains from this because you're going to learn so much from whatever this is. And it's going to make you a better person. Don't be bitter, be better, right? I've been hearing that a lot lately. But in order for this stuff to stop repeating, you need to be the one to make the change and embrace the change. Accept things for the way they are. Yes, there are regrets. Yes, there's guilt. Yes, there's shame. But there's something about self-forgiveness here that some of you guys got to learn. And again, the forgiveness for other people, it keeps coming up in your readings. And I haven't even gotten a forgiveness card yet. But when I look at this death card, this is my caterpillar, the metamorphosis card. You can't, you can't have caterpillar thoughts if you want a butterfly life. And you're going to have to go through the dirt. You're going to have to go through the dark stuff. You're going to have to learn how to transmute the dark into light. You're going to have to go through the dirty shit. The, the sweat, blood, and tears to overcome some of these behaviors and, and to start for you to become this, this more evolved person who's not overtaken by this type of energy right here. Getting grounded and watching that mental state, especially if you're self-sabotaging and you're like berating yourself and and cutting yourself down, insulting yourself, okay? These are like insults because it's words and stuff like that. Or or you insulting somebody or other people insulting you. It's just, you know, just get grounded. Like get to a place of peace. You may be dealing with a, uh, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe some of you are dealing with an earth sign who continues to... insult you belittle you i already said all that stuff this is also you learning your worth gaining wisdom from all of those experiences right all of those lessons I need this guy puts in hard work, but what he he's able to attract beautiful things in his life. He's very stable. He's very solid. He's very abundant in all areas of his life, not just with money. He's healthy, excellent health. He has a nice home. He has a nice marriage. He has a very calming family. He's got everything because he manifested it. Why? Because he did the hard work and understanding his value and doing the inner work to make sure that he was in alignment with what it was that he wanted to manifest. This is also the master healer of the self. You have the ability to heal yourself, heal your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. This is you understanding that you do have the Midas touch, but you have to believe in that. And you have to act like a king of pentacles. And if you're dealing with an earth sign who is causing all of these hostilities or these um, disruptive type of energies or whatever this is that this earth sign is doing, you got to put an end to it. Um... You've got to find that power within you, Aquarius. And maybe for somebody here, stop depending on others for validation. Stop looking towards other people to determine how successful you are. Maybe there's like this skewed vision of what success is because this guy is all about success. 
but he's successful because he watched his thoughts. He always spoke positively to himself. That's part of wellness. It's part of having uh, vitality and for being healthy, okay? Because his mind's healthy. His body's healthy. It's everything. It's being abundant in everything, not just with money. When he gets to a high vibrational state and his health is on point, and his environment is on point. He's always going out into nature. He understands that he has to go with the flow. He can't rush things. He has to be patient. He has to take very care, good care of himself. He also understands that God is his only source and supply. He knows how the universe works. He knows how God works. And as long as he's taking care of himself, he's got it made. And everything he touches turns to gold. That's what success is for him. He's able to not allow chaos and conflict and crazy stuff to throw him off his throne, to cause him to lose balance, to cause him to become unstable. Because he knows better. Because when those energies dip and he's all scattered, he blocks his manifestation abilities. Let's see what the obstacle is. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, thank you. Uh, this guy comes out. This is so funny. Now the bottom of the deck comes out. The challenge, guys, again, not grounding yourself could be possessiveness. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's very possessive. You're very possessive of other people. Take it how it resonates. This is greed. For some of you, this is still stemming from materialism. Okay. Again, if you're beating yourself up or regretting whatever or self-sabotaging, oh, I'm not as successful as that person. I'm not as smart as that person. I'm not as this as that person. That person has more money than me. This person is more successful if you're doing that, Aquarius, it needs to stop. You totally block your ability to manifest when you're doing that. So stop surrounding yourself with negativity, whether it's with people, you, or both. The situation you're in is unstable and you know it. Get grounded. Spend more time in nature and just connect with it. And be patient. Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. You got to learn how to go with the flow. Some of you with all this five of swords stuff, whether you're dealing with this drama, in the conflict or whatever, it's causing you to lose your mind. It's causing you to lose, to, to engage in stressful activities or it's just bringing about a lot of stress to you. Because again, there's something about an unhealthy ego, something about stubbornness, somebody who doesn't want to lose. You got to go with the flow of life, Aquarius. Watch how peaceful your life becomes when you just go with the flow and you're patient and you're not rushing. You're getting to a state of balance. Like I said, there's instability here with this king of pentacles and it has to do with your health and your well-being. Don't try to force things. Don't try to just, I got to win at all costs. I, I got I to gotta beat this game. I got to win this game or whatever. No, this is not a competition. This is about your health and well-being. This is your healing, your evolution of the soul. There's no such thing as rushing that. This is not a game when you're dealing with that type of healing. You got to go with the flow, Aquarius. Somebody here might be very antagonistic. Patience is a virtue. And you have to trust in the divine timing of things. Everything happens in its own time. Its own time. We cannot control 
what God has planned for us. It's according to God's will, not ours. It could be somebody you just feel emotionally imbalanced as well. You got to balance your masculine and feminine energies. Some of you may have very strong masculine energy and that may be why there could be like this competitiveness or like I don't want to lose type of energy. Um, or your feminine side, right? Insecurities, not trusting yourself or your intuition, not believing in yourself, not knowing your worth, right? When you've got an imbalance of feminine masculine energies, guys, whatever is out of totally out of whack, the other one goes through the roof, and then that causes like more of a distortion within your natural self self instead of you being at your sacred balance, which is your natural self. Balancing out the yin and the yang. Some of you are doing things out of excess. You're not living life in moderation. For some of you, this has to do with the money thing. Greed, ruled by materialism. You might even be hurting yourself by doing this by not living life in moderation. Again, it's, it's different for everybody. I get a whole bunch of different scenarios in here. Again, with the, uh, somebody might be trying to keep up with the Joneses. Or maybe this was in your past because the death card is here. You got yourself into a rut because of the overspending or you just focusing so much on success, work, too much on business or too much on um, money. And maybe something happened and the death card is here saying, okay, we got to put an end to this, you know, or let go of that past. Maybe this is a past thing for some of you with the behaviors, okay? Just release that past. Kill it off. It's time for this to end. It's time for you to have a new beginning. And for you to go through that uh, transformation phase to become that person who God wants you to be. Not somebody who's ruled by materialism. Not somebody who's trying to win at all costs. Not somebody who's a doormat. You get the point. But again, a lot of this has to really deal with finding more tranquility and purpose in your life, more harmony. Get to a place of balance. Do not let anyone or anything destroy your inner peace. And the 3D world can totally yank that from, the, from a lot of us. I know it's what happened to me. And when you trust in God, you trust in the universe, and you understand what is really of value, what is really worthy of your time, energy, money, whatever this is, you will find yourself in a greater state of sacred balance. This is also alchemy. You can create the life that you want. You have, you're the one who's going to find out that magic elixir of life. What's going to work? What doesn't? You find what that balance is, what comes natural to you. Natural to you. Not what everybody else is doing. <laughs> okay? It's not going to help. Let's see what the lesson here is. What lesson is Aquarius learning from the situation? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Oh boy, it's a judgment card. All right judgment learning your karmic lessons <laughs> i don't know what else to say guys this is exactly what this is the lesson here is that you need to be learning your karmic lessons and don't beat yourself up when you keep not learning when you continue to not learn your karmic lessons all right this is the time for you to stop beating yourself up for that and start listening to what God is telling you to do. You got to wake up and smell the coffee. You got to heed the call. A lot of you have been called to do mission work. This is the perfect opportunity to start doing this, whether you're ready or not. 
This is also the forgiveness card. This keeps showing up, Aquarius. It's going to keep showing up until that changes. Some of you, and I love all of you to death, I really do whether you think I don't or not, but if I'm not telling you what the truth is, I'm not doing my job and I'm not really coming a place of divine light. That's just the bottom line right there. I can tell you what you want to hear, but that would mean that I wouldn't really care about your well-being. I wouldn't really care about you having wealth in your life, having stability in your life, having a beautiful life and having excellent health and none of that. If I wasn't telling you what the real thing is going on here, then that means I don't care, but I do. And the forgiveness thing for some of you guys keeps surfacing. And I said it. We haven't even gotten the judgment card. We haven't seen anything about forgiveness yet. And look, I knew this card was going to come out because it tends to come out because God is trying to drive it hard into your brains, Aquarius, that if you want your life to change, you're going to have to learn how to forgive yourself and other people who have screwed you over, who've betrayed you who've been hurtful, who've been abusive. True love cannot come into your heart space, Aquarius, if you can't forgive that. Again, it doesn't mean that they win. You actually win when you forgive. You're able to move on. And you're able to free yourself of that karma. Forgiveness frees yourself of karma. You keep adding karma to your plate. You're also, also blocking your abundance from coming in. Your true wealth from coming in. There has been this indecisiveness. Should I forgive or shouldn't I? And this includes forgiving yourself too. Like I said, stop with the self-sabotage. Either you stay in that bubble and you stay miserable or you're going to come in that bubble and do something about your situation. It's up to you. It's your decision. And whatever decision you make, you choose love in everything that you do. Watch how your life changes and how much peace is brought into your life when you put love into every situation. I'm telling you, it changes the game. Some of you have been very unwilling to either heed the call, listen to what God is telling you to do, to, to follow your mission, whatever your purpose is, and or God's asking you to forgive and some of you are still unwilling and I'm telling you this is a huge karmic lesson that you guys have not been able to learn for lifetimes I don't know what else to tell you this keeps showing up and it's not gonna go away not in my readings I can say this if I have to talk about the same message about forgiveness Five years from now, if God still has me doing this, I'm still going to talk about it. And that's going to be a little bit of a shame, Aquarius, because if five years from now you still haven't learned that lesson, I don't know what else to tell you. You're wanting things to change, but God wants you to start changing things about yourself first. Let go of the stubbornness. Let go of the need to win. Let go of the need to just try to look better than somebody else. Or be like a little bit hard-nosed. Say, no, I can't do that. Because they hurt me. They screwed me over. Think about how you feel right now. When you're thinking about that person or those people. Or you doing this to yourself. Do you feel pleasant? Do you get sick from it? Do you have physical ailments when you're angry and bittered and judgmental? Is it a good feeling? It's not a good feeling, Aquarius. Do you want to live the rest of your life feeling like that? 
Those are lower vibrational energies. What you really want in life, you will not manifest because it is not in vibrational alignment. And forgiveness is the gateway to having everything. To you to be able to manifest everything because you have that ability, Aquarius. You do. Stop listening to society thinking, oh, I have to make a, a work really hard and have this business to be successful to make money. No, you can totally attract that into your life. But what's blocking all of that, that is your, abund your, your right. Wealth is your right, your fate. It is, uh, it is um, uh, something that you uh, have the right to have. But it cannot be given to you until certain things change internally. And you look at things differently and you start saying to yourself, okay, why does this keep repeating? And here's the thing. If you can't forgive and you have that bitterness in your heart, you're going to attract more of that into your life. And it's going to be a never ending story. You can't escape the inevitable. This is karmic avoidance. A lot of this is a lot of karmic lessons that still haven't been learned. And again, I'm not judging you. I can't do that. That is not my place. That's God's place. And you can't judge other people either. And you cannot go out there seeking justice. No, this person has to do right by me. I want them to apologize. I want them to do this and this and this and that. Why don't you change so that that, so that person can change? And the only way that person is going to be able to change is if you come from a place of love. Because people do change. But love is the only thing that's going to heal you and that person and whatever situation this is. Balance. Harmony. Recalibrate. Justice is only going to be brought to you in your situation through God. Not you. And God's trying to tell some of you You'll get your justice, Aquarius, when you learn to forgive. That's where that comes from. And then everyone that you deal with, you're going to have a lot more harmonious relationships, jobs, whatever this is for you. Your life will change. And it starts with self-forgiveness. Because some of you, when you can't forgive others, it's because you can't forgive yourself for continuing to deal with that behavior. That's why some people can't forgive. Because you can't forgive yourself. Because you don't want to own up to the fact that you continued to engage in that type of situation that made you feel hurt. Some of you saw the writing on the wall. Some of you had your intuition telling you things. And you didn't listen. And you got yourself into these challenging situations. These conflicts. But again, you cannot judge yourself either for that. There's also something with the legal matter here. It just this, this came at me. Some conflict is going to be resolved. There's going to be a huge change. There may be something where this King of Pentacles might be coming into your life to help with something, maybe with money or whatever. Someone's going to help something. Somebody's going to help with a legal matter, or somebody, or somebody. There might be somebody here who has an actual judgment against them in a court of law, I heard. But it's going to work in your favor is what I'm hearing. Whatever decisions need to be made, especially if it's something legal, it's, it's going to work out in your favor. Okay. Um, that's funny because that came like out of left field or something like that. I was like, okay, my guides were saying, look, it's judgment and justice. There's something, there is something specifically legal, legal for somebody. Okay. Um, yeah. So situations where decisions must be made, they're going to work out positively for you. 
It can even be with like tests, academic examinations, something legal. It's going to have a favorable outcome because th there's another thing that's coming in. And apparently there might be a king of pentacles who's going to help with this or something like that. Or somebody who is um, earth energy, someone who's very generous, very compassionate, very giving uh something like that I, I don't know where that came from but that could only be for like one or two people so keep that in mind but yeah um if this is a legal situation for some of you don't don't get caught up or don't beat yourself up for something with what happened because apparently god is going to make things fair for everybody because again justice and judgment they're major arcana so the divine is is helping you with this legal matter if this is a legal matter all right, the right decisions are going to be made. So anything that's going on, whether it's a settlement or like I said, a court case, uh, it's going to be ruled in your favor. All right. The right thing is going to be done. Um, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> That was like a legal message for somebody. All right, let's see what the guidance is for Aquarius. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, plating, Syrians. I'm hearing like with this death card, like I'm a huge change of heart or something like that. Uh, death card, I'm sorry, guidance for Aquarius. Oh my God. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. I said with the justice card, guys, God will bring justice to the situation. Let God handle this. This is God's department, okay? He rules the DOJ. So alchemy, see, we talked about alchemy here. You have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. Now it doesn't want to focus. You see what happens here? You can see it there. Wait. Bottom of the deck. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Guys, whatever intuitive hits you're getting when you're seeing these cards and whatever I'm saying, trust what intuitive hits you're getting. Look what's underneath here. Optimistic. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. What's at the top? What did I say? Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. This keeps surfacing, you guys. It keeps surfacing. That means that it has not been completed yet. Don't think that my readings are going to change. That's not the type of reader that I am. All right. Let's look at the alchemy card. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, where did it go? Here we go. You're on a roll at this time with the energy of heightened success surrounding you and your endeavors. You instantly manifest your thoughts and ideas. Now, so choose them carefully. Just as you're capable of manifesting masterpieces right now, you're able to manifest problems. But the good news is that you can also undo manifestation that you're unhappy about. An alchemist is someone who turns base metal into precious gold or silver. You have the ability to take ordinary projects and make them come alive with meaning, blessings, and abundance for everyone involved. Your gratitude for God-given manifestation power and also the joy you feel in response to the beautiful creations that stem from it are keys to amplifying your alchemy abilities. Affirm frequently, thank you for helping me focus my thoughts completely on joy, the desire to be connected to divine love. I am so grateful that all of my needs are so carefully addressed instantly. Except heaven's help was right next to it. You've asked, what should I do next? This card responds, trust that your prayers have been heard and answered. Simply rest and retreat for now. After all, you prayed for divine intervention, so step aside and let heaven intervene as this is the help you prayed for. You can assist the process initiated by your prayers through quiet contemplation. Ask heaven to give you very clear, easily understandable guidance, letting you know if you need to take any action. In the meantime, enjoy knowing your angels and guides surround you and your situation with loving care and then divine magic 
This card signifies that the next Oracle card you pull out of the deck is surrounded by divine magical energy. So they're telling me that the one that's next to it is the rest card. Okay. The divine magic card urges you to pay very special attention to this card and do your best to follow its message. The divine magic card indicates that a spiritual gateway is open for you. At such times, your ability to manifest is heightened. Use this time to focus upon your desires. If you're unsure what you truly want, ask for divine guidance through prayer, meditation, or ritual. So this is really saying you've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. So you resting and not taking action, okay? You prayed for it, accept heaven's help. There's something about forgiveness here. Or maybe in a court settlement, you're going to be pardoned or forgiven or something like that, okay? that's the high, This is a master manifestor, like I said. God wants you to take it easy and rest like God do his thing. Like I said, the divine. Let God handle this and just rest easy. Because God doesn't want you to have your energies all scattered and you be worried or all crazy or whatever. Self-sabotage worrying about something so that the manifestation of your heart's desires can come to fruition. Um, rest, 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 rest. This card asks you to slow down, rest, and be very gentle with yourself right now. Can you cancel your appointments today for part of the day and take a nap? By drawing this card, you're urged to let go of unnecessary activities and to focus on self-renewal. Giving yourself a hug, look in the mirror and say, I love you. I promise to treat you with the respect and care that you deserve. You're wonderful. No rushing or time urgency, urgency is allowed today. This is a day of sweet kindness where you treat yourself as, a gently, as gently as a baby cradled in your arms. That might be literal, guys. If you've got appointments to cancel today, cancel them. Take it easy. No rushing or time urgency is allowed today. Some of you, you need to be obedient. <laughs> Wait. If you take action now, you'll miss a window of opportunity that's coming up for you shortly. Don't worry. You'll know in your heart and gut when the moment arrives. In the meantime, it's important to meditate and make sure that your breathing is deep and frequent. Often we hold our breath or experience shortened breath during stressful periods. You're also on the verge of receiving new information that will alter the course of action you plan to take, leading you in a more positive direction. By waiting, the outcome will be much more enjoyable than if you took action without this added information. Your affirmation is, I have infinite patience and I am divinely directed to always be in the right place at the perfect time. And then there's that stay optimistic card. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. This is it. Your time has come. You're about to collect your rewards and your prayers will be answered. A bit more patience and guided action on your part is required. The extra weight and effort are definitely worth it. You're just about there and this card asks you to keep your faith about miracles and heavenly magic. Use your imagination to visualize that your dreams have already come true. Your heart will swell with gratitude and joy, and these emotions will speed up your desired manifestations. Before long, you'll be enjoying tangible results. And of course, they want me to go with the self-forgiveness thing because there's an important message there. You guys are getting a lot of messages today. You've been very hard on yourself lately, using harsh words towards yourself verbally or mentally. You see? Well, it's healthy to hold yourself up to high standards. This card says that you've bordered on self-abuse. Everyone makes mistakes. And it's normal to feel regret occasionally. What's important, though, is how you handle these mistakes. As you focus on your positive attributes, your self-esteem will increase and your stress level will be diminished. Remember that guilt is the opposite of love. Your guilt doesn't help anyone or anything, but your divine love helps everyone everywhere. Affirm, I ask that all effects of my mistakes be undone in all directions of time, and I now release all guilt completely. I love my true self from top to bottom. Wow. Okay, wait and rest, take it easy. Um, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I just knocked over some of my crystals here. Let's see what the new moon, let me move these cards because I'm running out of room on my altar here. What is the new moon in Leo? 
bringing Aquarius. I was going to say Sagittarius for whatever reason. Maybe a Sagittarius card will come up. I'm hearing luck is on your side. All right. What is the new moon in Leo bringing Aquarius? Spirit guides and angels, galactic family, pleading series. Please and thank you. Oh, my God. What did I say? I said Sagittarius. This is ruled by Jupiter. The new moon in Leo is trining Jupiter. There's some big, that's a big harmonious aspect. There's something very lucky with this new moon, new beginnings and good luck coming in. Um, check to see where five degrees of Leo is in your chart, guys. It's going to help you understand how this new moon is going to affect you. So look at the bigger picture. All right. There we go. Full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is don't let your past hold you back. See? South node. I talked about don't let that past get to you. It, it, don't. It, it, it won't. It's going to affect a lot of things. Okay? A lot of things. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over minute can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. Take time out for a mini break or adventure. The situation may have come around because you've been distracted. Be confident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. Find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. It's a time when we are reminded that life is an adventure and there is a big wide world to see beyond our backyard. It's about having fun and being prepared to sail into uncharted territory. It's about big ideas versus the details. No matter when you draw this card, it encourages you to look at the bigger picture. See, it says take time out for mini break or adventure. Rest. Wait. Take a time out. Take it easy today. South node is at the bottom of the deck. The south node deals with past lives too. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone you even needs to be released, that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. I release the past. A relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be on the verge of obsessive. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Um, this shows us we are likely to become obsessed with. Oh, on the horoscope chart, the south node shows us what we are likely to become obsessed with, but which will probably do us little or no good. The south node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us of the well-known phrase, if you always do what you've always done, You'll always get what you've always got. Balance, spirituality, and practicality is at the top of the deck. The uh, full moon in Pisces. Uh, I didn't do your wellness message yet. I missed that. Oh, it's getting darker, obviously. I'm almost done. What is the wellness message for Aquarius? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian, Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. So they're having me go back to the Sagittarius energy. Some of you have Sagittarius in your chart. If you haven't watched the Sagittarius reading, uh, they're suggesting that you watch that one because there's other messages for you there. And I actually did air the fire signs yesterday. All things work best in conjunction with all things. Clear quartz, amethyst, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, smoky quartz will all help with this type of balance, equilibrium. Justice tries to bring things back to equilibrium, right? 
Bottom of the deck is more chakra balance. See, there's a lot of balance with this stuff. Stability, right? Harmony makes this life, the song of life sweeter. Green Jasper, Turquoise Labradorite. Harmony. I talked about harmonious things. That's temperance energy. Some of you got to balance all seven of your chakras. You got to do some chakra healing. If you want to know exactly what's blocking all of that stuff or what the biggest one that you need to unblock is, I do offer chakra healing on my website. If you go to capellawallet.com. All right, Aquarius. I keep wanting to say Sagittarius for whatever reason. Um, spirit guides, angels, galactic family, plain Syrians, please reveal to us for highest good. What guidance do you have for Aquarius for love and relationships? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. I can't really focus on that one. Speak the language of love. Let's see if it does it. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. I said do some things out of a place of love, right? Do things out of love. Spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Some of you are definitely dealing with a, a past life connection, all right? This challenge that you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with somebody else, it's a past life connection. You have a spiritual connection with this person and you guys got to like clear out your karma uh, with this person, all right? That person is teaching you some very huge karmic lessons. That's why you are in this connection. A positive attitude works wonders in creating more love around you. Allow yourself to really express yourself positively. Use only wholesome words when speaking to others or even about yourself. Be conscious of any language you may use out of habit and be willing to release this to create more positivity, positive energy around you. Doing this will bring more love to you. Often your exact words or actions won't be remembered. People tend to recall how something you said or did made them feel. Taking a moment to choose words that are more loving can have such an amazing impact on others. Thinking about how you convey your message will have a profound and loving impact on others. Treat conversations with others as an occasion to discover something original. Consider the other person's point of view and treat them with compassion. There will be many opportunities to state your case or impart your viewpoint. Two young nature beings gaze lovingly at a newborn dragon sitting on a rose. Dragons may be helpful guardians as well as educators. They can help you heal the aspect of yourself that keeps you in fear mode when you are communicating. The full moon behind the sprite suggests there is an opportunity to release a pattern that no longer serves you. Trust your ability to speak your truth in a loving manner. I know it's getting much darker in here. 41... Kind of like the lighting though well the candle lighting when you do something kind for someone you create an opportunity for your relationship to be re-energized how can you be considerate towards someone today insignificant things can have a big impact imagine how amazing your life will be when you are consistently doing kind and loving things for others do something for someone it does not need to be someone you are close to or that you see every day you might choose to do something for someone you don't even know just choose someone and do something nice for them. There are so many ways to act with kindness. Open a door for someone who has their arms full. Greet everyone you see. Never underestimate the power of a smile or a positive attitude. Put extra change in a parking meter. It doesn't take much to change someone's day. Nature's child lovingly pets a rabbit while other animals gather around. Rabbits are a signifier of compassion. They remind you to look inside for the tools you already have. The deer is here to emphasize limitless kindness. Take a moment to consider how wonderful it is to give to someone. Brightening someone's day is a wonderful experience. And then, what is that? 27. 27. The Spiritual Connection card. Everything happens for a reason. 
Some people come into your life to help you learn a lesson and they will make a real impact on your life. Whether it be a lover, a primary partner, or in a relationship for growth, a spiritual connection is important to you now. This card very gently reminds you to allow the universe to support you. Accept heaven's help. You might be trying to control aspects of your life that are not within your power. When a connection has a spiritual basis, nurture it with love and surrender. Put a situation into the hands of the divine and ask that the outcome be for the highest good of all involved. The situation may be asking you to stretch yourself. Know that you are going to grow and expand during this phase, but try not to lose yourself. Communicate your needs and wants and listen to what is being shared. Two people look intently into each other's eyes, revealing the deep trust that exists between them. Their gaze exemplifies their strong connection. A cord that seems to originate from their crown chakras connects the two individuals and illustrates their strengthening spiritual bond. Take a moment to consider the unity that exists even when you are at odds with another. Consider how much can be revealed through love and understanding. See that? That's the bottom of the deck. All right, guys. I hope this helped you. All right. A lot of lessons to learn. Big one. Big stuff, guys. But, you know, this is what you signed up for, believe it or not. All right. Alchemy. You got the Midas Touch. Midas Touch is right here. The King of Pentacles. Accept Heaven's help. You ask for help. Get out of the way. Take a breather. Rest. If you've got other things to do today, cancel them. All right? Bide your time for better results. The universe is helping you. Your dreams are about to come true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. There's a lot of magic surrounding, especially with this full moon. I'm sorry, the new moon in Leo. And again, it's trining Jupiter. And I talked about Jupiter. It rules Sagittarius. All right? So... I hope this helped you. If you would like a personal reading with me or you would like to sign up for a 14-day free trial of my Capella memberships to get exclusive content to help you with these readings, okay? You get other perks like getting a free reading from me and a drawing every month. Not that you would get the reading every month, but you know what I mean. Um, I send special promos every now and again to my members on the app. My app is completely free to sign up for. You get all of the exclusive content straight from the app. If you were a mobile person, um, a whole bunch of other perks come with these memberships. Check them out. Go to click, click the link in the description box below or go to capellawellness.com. If you have any questions about anything, guys, please feel free to reach out to me. All right. That concludes your reading, Aquarius. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I never greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness. Starring out.